Hey guys, welcome to my video. It is Latavia and I am so happy you are here. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video and share it with others. Today, we're gonna talk about how I grew my hair out a lot faster than it ever has before. It's looking more shinier. It's my scalp is a lot healthier. I'm just feeling like my hair is so much healthier than it ever has been before. And I'm going to share those tips with you shortly. So don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I have had a major struggle with my hair for a long time. And recently I went into my hairdresser and as she was combing out my hair, she asked me if I've ever been tested for thyroid hormonal issues. And I was like, no, I have not. Should I? And she's like, well, I've just never seen so much hair come out of somebody's head before. And that literally freaked me out. I was like, yeah, like I've noticed that, but I didn't know if that was normal or like what is going on with my head like why I'm shedding so much hair. So I got a hold of my go-to woman when it comes to anything health, anything herb, and I asked about my thyroid and gave her some symptoms of what I was dealing with, and hair loss obviously was the number one. And she suggested that I definitely get on an iodine supplement or a thyroid supplement. And that really has helped my hair a lot. She says that hair loss usually is linked to thyroid issues. And so she says, let's just see if that will help you. And I was so thrilled to talk to her and to figure this out. So I have added that supplement and then I'm also adding other supplements and I really think it has helped a lot. So most of these are internal supplements that I have chosen to use to really game change my hair growth and the health of my hair. And then also I have one tip that I do in the shower that helps a lot with my scalp. All of these will be listed down below in the description box if you're interested in checking them out, reading up on them and whatnot. Okay, so number one is my collagen peptides. Every single day I eat a protein shake and they are always chocolate, always chocolate. So vital proteins, collagen peptides is my number one. As we know, hair is made up of protein. So if we're not getting enough protein, obviously our hair is going to suffer. So this has 20 grams of grass-fed collagen protein and it's pretty yummy. So a lot of times I just put a scoop, it says use two scoops. I just do a scoop of this in my protein shakes every morning. Also, it really helps with your skin. And as an esthetician, I really care a lot about my skin. I actually care more about my skin than my hair, but if it can help both my hair and my skin out, that is fantastic. I will choose to have it in my daily diet to help everything. Next is my thyroid supplement that I have been taking and I absolutely love it. It's the Thyroid Support by Health Harmonies. So when your thyroid is off, lots of other things can be off. So this helps with weight loss. This helps with energy levels. It helps with brain fog. It helps a lot with just energy and healthy metabolism. And it does have the iodine, which my woman, my go-to woman has suggested. So I really, really have been liking this. It's just two capsules a day. And I really feel like it has helped a lot with my hair shedding. I'm telling you, I lose a lot of hair and it's freaky. It's almost like I have cancer or something. So this has definitely helped a lot with just the hair loss. When I'm brushing out my hair, I'm just not noticing as much. And so that is a good thing. All right, next up is this Country Life Maxi Hair Skin and Nails. And this has 2000 MCGs of biotin. And some of you may think that's not enough biotin because you can purchase supplements that have a lot more biotin than 2000 MCGs. 
But let me tell you something about biotin when it comes to me and my personal experience. I suffered with cystic acne for a long time, and that is why I became an esthetician. And so cystic acne still haunts me to this day. Occasionally, I still get a big, huge papule on my face, and it is not fun and very embarrassing for me to go through. And so biotin actually is kind of a trigger for cystic acne for most people. So if you overload on too many MCGs of biotin, you might get cystic acne breakouts. And I don't know about you, but that freaks me out and I don't wanna go through that. So for my skin, I usually just tap it off at 2000 MCGs of biotin a day. If I go over that, my skin starts to freak out and it starts to break out and I don't like that. So I like this one from Country Life because it only has 2000 MCGs. It also has other great things in it for hair growth, okay? It has the horsetail, it has a nosotol, it has the pava, it has lots of other great herbs in it as well as the biotin to help with your hair and to also help with your skin. So I've really liked that one out of all the ones that I've tried and I have tried a lot. Okay, so those are three different supplements that I have incorporated in this last couple months or so that has really game changed my hair a lot. It may not seem like it because definitely my go-to hair length would be down to my belly button, which is like, down here and I'm really tall, I'm 5'11", so I have a little bit of ways to go, but that's okay. Patience is key here, patience. Okay, so one thing that I do in the shower is I only wash my hair one time every seven days. That is it. And I use really great non-sulfated shampoo and so that also helps. But I absolutely love this Too Chic Detox Exfoliating Scalp Scrub. It has activated charcoal in it and volcanic ash, and I'm telling you, it clarifies, it exfoliates, it's awesome. So I use this before I shampoo and condition my hair, and it feels lovely on my scalp mainly because it is always a little bit itchy. I have seborrheic dermatitis. Some people will have that on their scalp at the base, but I have it all up in my crown, lucky me, so that everybody can see the little crazy flakies if I don't keep watch on those. But seborrheic dermatitis definitely, you know, is kind of like cradle cap when babies are little. It's very flaky, it's very itchy, and it can make your hair fall out. So I have found that just giving a really good shampoo and scrubbing with my fingers sometimes doesn't get all the flakes out. And so this has really helped do that, and I love this. So what I do is I apply, I scrub it, and then I also use this cool little shampoo helper bristle brush when I'm shampooing and it helps out a lot. It's very soft silicone, little bristles, and it helps just exfoliate and shampoo the hair just a little bit better. So you make sure that it gets all over the scalp. And that has really helped my hair out a lot, and especially my suburb dermatitis, because that is not fun to go through. So all of these things I have incorporated in the last few months, and it really has helped a lot. I've seen a lot of new hair growth too. So I have like all these little teeny baby hairs that sometimes I have to hairspray down or gel down or whatever, so they're not in the way of things. But that also makes me happy because I'm getting new hair growth as well. So of course you have to take care of your ends. Sometimes I'll just slap on some coconut oil on my ends or grapeseed oil. Um, but you also have to take really good care of your scalp and also internal 
you have to take care of your insides and what you're taking in in your diet on a daily basis for hair growth as well. So the collagen has helped, the thyroid herbal supplement has helped, and also my hair, skin, and nails supplement has helped out a ton as well internally. So I hope this has helped you guys. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Take care.